What is going on, squadrons? I am filming a cash collection today uh, because the YouTube algorithm seems to like that the best. I am about to drop Lidogo off at Lidaycare. He really, really, really likes it, which is great. It's just costing me an absolute bomb. All right, guys, I have a busy day today. I've got six locations to go to. Start the route. I'm everywhere today because I didn't complete my route yesterday because I had a maintenance job. Got a busy one. So let's go. So I bought these yesterday and I got it's the multi pack of double deckers. I got the multi pack of twelve, multi pack of crunches and the multi pack of whisper as well. So basically if you don't know, I do these duo bags. I'll stick a picture here. And they seem to be do alright. But they died off a little bit because I think people just get bored of them. So now I am changing up a bit. I'm putting better quality chocolate in and better quality crisp. Uh, I went to talk to you about my next chapter. I'm about to turn another year older in like three weeks. I want to tell you about my next few goals. Um, so. This last year, I grew the company to six figures, which is pretty impressive for me because I never believed I could do that. I mean, I always had it in the back of my mind, but I never actually thought it would happen, I guess. I bought a business, like bought another vending machine business. If you've watched my videos for a while, you would have seen that. It's just, it's just been, it's just been an incredible journey. But I want to start eBay again. So if you see my unit, I used to do eBay last year and I kind of stopped uh, when I moved out of my apartment. So I used to run it out of my apartment, but now, I, and then when I moved out of my apartment, I didn't do it anymore. I want to start doing it again because next year I want to get my own warehouse because getting deliveries to my parents is it's kind of hard because they live in an apartment. So getting deliveries there is quite difficult you know you gotta get bring it up the stairs bring it down the stairs and it's, well, it's heavy it's just hard and when i'm not in my parents have to do it and you know it's just it's not fair having them having to bring it up and down the stairs and if i can just get a warehouse and having it delivered to the warehouse it'd be better so if i can you know grow my ebay back to the way it was which was bringing in four figures a month it'd be great so i want to start doing that again just if I can use my weekends, because I don't work vending on a weekend, if I can use my weekends to start doing that again, that would be perfect. I've already started starting my Vinted again, um, which is, it's going well. I've only sold one thing on there so far, to be honest with you. Um, I have 264 reviews uh, from when I used to sell trainers on there. I used to be a big training person on there. I used to sell trainers a lot on there, use trainers used and new to be honest um and then i kind of like i said last year i kind of stopped um because vending kind of took over um but now i want to get back into it on my weekends because i had a full-time job last year and vending was kind of my side hustle but now vending's my full-time job and ebay can be my side hustle now and then once i get on the absolute ball with that i can get a warehouse next year i want to kind of get 15 1500 square foot unit i can start building up from there and then once i can once i've done that ebay can start pushing money into the vending business and i can just keep scaling really thank you no right so i don't know if it's going to be any interest to you but well first of all on snacks and drinks i spent 201 pound 97 and then i got two packs of these Vaseline. Four packs of these. Vaseline. There's 12 in each. So six times 12 is 60, 72. Yeah, if not, I'll stick there. Um, so I spent 61 pound 13 and 72 Vaseline's. 85p per Vaseline and the average that they sell is like one pound 20 so 
I was thinking that I can make a little bit of change on these um because you know I do like car boots and that so when I'm at car boot I can sell for like a pound just you know like a just a quick sell if I can sell 72 for a pound each 72 quid in it so uh it's nearly 10 pound profit uh nothing too exciting basically how i think of this is like a it's like a stock you put 60 pound in a stock and you leave it for a few months and you get 10 pound out of it um i've just put 60 pound in vaseline and i stick it on my stall at a car boot and i get 10 pound out of it uh that's how i think about things um in a stock you can lose money in a stock you can gain money but in my head i'm a grafter i know those will sell um for a pound each on a car boot There wasn't that much change in there, so I didn't empty it. It's only a car machine after all. It was empty though, I wasn't expecting it to be empty. I wasn't expecting it to be empty that much. I checked if the machine was broke, um, but it wasn't broke. Just got to the second location. It is a gas place where they keep gases and stuff. <laughs> finished up in there i didn't get to film much because everybody was in the break room because it was dinner time there wasn't too much money in the cash box doesn't surprise me that site's not really that busy mainly people just paying card anyway i am heading to an office building now probably about half an hour away I was in there the uh fire alarm went off and i honestly think i soiled myself for a office building there was no need oh, a dickhead. right i'm heading to the company that is attached to this office building i don't mean like physically attached i mean like subsidiary attached basically it's part of the council it's part of the council um i'm not going to tell you what part of the council because you all know uh, and some people might steal it and I don't want that. Honestly, that last location did not need doing, but it was only f like eight minutes away from my one before that, so. I just did it. Driving about 45 minutes now to the last three locations. Um, man, it's been a busy day, I'm not gonna lie. I have a banging headache, but we are gonna see this through to the end, no matter how much traffic there is. All right, guys, I've just made it to the massive factory. Uh, the lady at the uh, check-in desk just said, if I ever have any coffee grounds, can I, can I give it to her for a garden? So I said, yes. Um, I am going to show you this should have a bit of cash in it because this is one of the busiest locations that i have it's a massive massive factory um i'm very hungry i'm not actually oh no i tell a lie i had a bait wild tart this morning it is now two o'clock and i am honestly ravenous so hungry uh yeah i'm not anything today don't tell me mom bye Look, someone has shook the vending machine. Fucking does my head in. Yeah. Just got to the last location. I'm gonna do one of the locations tomorrow because honestly, the traffic is getting crazy and I'm not driving to open shot at this time. saying is a first time for everything well i just took the wrong box to the wrong location so that was stupid 
um, yeah, I've never done that before. So I didn't really get to fill it up the way I wanted to fill it. Um, oh well, the guys thought it was really funny in there. Basically, the one I was supposed to go to today, I already I filled that box up and then I didn't fill this box up. I don't know, it was just a lot. Uh, I will tell you when I get back how much these machines have done in cash. Um, it's a 16 today, so in 16 days. Yeah, I'll see you at home. Okay, guys, please man her. Um, right, so the first location did £9.50 in cash. Um, £115.80 in card. The second location did £23.70 in cash. £136.30 in card. £25.30 in cash was the third location. And £108 in card. Fourth location. Both machines together did £17.50 in cash. And £73.15 in card. Um second to last location did with both machines 57.95 in cash and 470 pound 70 in card and then last location did 22 pound 40 in cash and 167 pound 55 in card altogether the machines did 1227 pounds 85 that's both cash and card I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you uh, Ten toes down, I'm around with the gang. My whole life, I've been doing my thing. Doing my thing. Get that money, ain't no thing. Anything I do, I do for the gang. Ten toes down.